Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, we're going to do a God Roll Guide on Farewell, the new legendary kinetic sidearm from Season of the Splicer. A peace born from violence is no peace at all, says Lady Ephrodi. Guys, chat, don't forget to hit the like button. Um, so, um, great, great transition there, Death from Above. It's a lightweight frame, legendary kinetic sidearm. You can get it now, Season, I don't know if this was the Season 13, Season 14. It's a pretty cool, fast fire rate fun kinetic sidearm i have not been a big fan of sidearms in d2 this one feels like the sidearms from d1 it feels like vesti and dynasty feels like a very quick snappy fun sidearm with uh interesting weapon stats uh scrolling on down here i don't see anything that really stands out as amazing uh good impact rpm is 360 magazine size is 15 decent aim assist recoil and bounce intensity are good because it's a sidearm not much zoom uh, just kind of solid perks, good handling. I like the stability. The handling felt really good, and the, the speed felt really good. I feel like for a sidearm, it has decent range as well. Um, there's a curated roll that you can get that has tunnel vision and adrenaline junkie. The one I had in the video that you're going to see, either now or later, has tunnel vision on it. So I thought that was a pretty cool perk to start out with. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over the random rolls. I'll show you the barrel and mag perks that I think are the best, and then we'll go through each one of the weapon perk columns individually and talk about all the perks, and I'll pick my god roll perk combination that I think is the best. But typically, I like to defer to the community and see what they're running as their barrel perks to go along with the uh, stat bonuses that you want for certain things on there, and that, you know, pretty good way to pick your perks so if you want to check that out light.gg i will link this in the description if you want to go here and look at it yourself also don't forget about destiny tracker you can build your gun out for the specific role you want to see what the stats are going to look like it's a pretty cool system that i like to use a lot but right here on light.gg we got uh arrowhead break corkshire rifling and chambered compensator are kind of the top three and i would agree with that mostly honestly it depends on what you want do you want recoil control and handling do you want uh range stability handling i typically go with corkscrew rifling because it gives you good bonuses for all the things and then chambered compensator will give you uh stability and recoil but you lose a little bit of handling which on a side is not too bad they already have fast handling so you can typically be okay with that but i'm gonna pick corkscrew rifling that's the one i generally like the most uh because it has the most balanced application airhead break is something if you really want a solid recoil handling and you know good control of a gun arrowhead breaks always solid but corkscrew is a good across the board uh perk for your barrel now accurized rounds is typically what i choose as my barrel mod on most weapons because it gives you that big range bonus and here is no different uh for the sidearm you want as much range as you can get i don't think any other perks are really that dominant or that needed tactical mag is nice stability mag size and reload speed i think for a sidearm though i'm gonna go accurized around so i can get a, even more range out of it i just won't which is generally more range. So I'm going to go corkscrew rifling, accurized rounds. Those are the barrel and mag perks that I want. Now, let's go through the weapon perks. This is fun. We got some new perks here, some old perks, and I haven't really applied my brain to a sidearm in a long time. So new perk, tunnel vision. Reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target acquisition and aim down sight speed for a short duration. It does do a pretty good, like, 25 30% increase to ADS speed. And uh, target acquisition, I never tested, but it's, it says it's doing it. I believe it. Um, just basically means the hitbox to get bigger for a little while. It lasts, I think, for about 10 seconds. It's a pretty long pretty long perk. Is it 10 seconds? I don't remember. There's a countdown for some of the new perks. I don't remember if it was that one that has the countdown of 10 seconds. Uh, heating up, new, another new perk. I don't have this one yet. Final blows with the weapon. Increase accuracy and stability while improving vertical recoil. So this is something that as you get more kills... You get better accuracy and stability and vertical recoil. So basically the gun just becomes a laser beam. Uh, the more kills you get with it. I want this on a hand cannon. That feels like that's where you want that to be. On a 120. On heating up on a 120. Uh, on a sidearm, maybe not so much. Rangefinder, ADSing, increases range and zoom magnification. That could be good. Full auto is neat. It's more of a gimmick than a perk. But on this one, it could be really useful. Subsistence. Do you have subsistence on a sidearm? Do you like it? I typically don't on a sidearm, but I like it on auto rifles. And they did buff it recently for SMGs, so what is it like on a, on a sidearm? Let me know. Then we have moving target, increased movement speed, and target acquisition while moving while ADS. Okay. If you're PvPing with a sidearm, which I know some of you do, maybe this one. 
Uh, for me in this perk column, I won't. I, I like tunnel vision, but probably range finder just to get the extra range out of it. That's gonna make it the most effective. And honestly, I want to see it with full auto. That could be fun. Um, then uh, next perk column, new perk, frenzy, newish perk. That's from last season. Being combat, being in combat for an extended time increases damage. It's 12 seconds, I think. Uh, it increases damage handling and re recoil until you're out of combat. It takes a while to activate Frenzy. Once you get it going, you can get it going. Uh, Adrenaline Junkie, new perk. Grenade Final Blows grant bonus damage and handling for a moderate duration. I notice a lot of these perks, you do a specific action, you get some bonuses to your gun. That's that's an interesting uh, interesting perk. Adrenaline Junkie, Grenade Final Blows grant bonus damage. I can see on a Titan with Armamentarium, this would be a pretty interesting thing to run with. I like it. I don't know if it stacks or not. Uh, unrelenting rapidly defeating targets triggers health regeneration that is an old perk that they buffed recently multi-kill clip getting kills increases damage on reload that's nice thresh killing combatants generate small amount of super energy and then vorpal increased damage against bosses vehicles and guardians with their super active i'm going to say frenzy on this one or maybe adrenaline junkie because you're going to be in combat with a sidearm you're going to be pretty close up so adrenaline junkie could be really fun i'd like to see that if not frenzy um, and then let me know if you like unrelenting on it. Uh, maybe multi-kill clip, but I don't think you're going to get multiple kills, so regular kill clip would be better, but we don't have that here. So I'm going to say I want to see Adrenaline Junkie. So yeah, I would like to see uh, Rangefinder Adrenaline Junkie or Full Auto Adrenaline Junkie. That'd be pretty fun. What are you guys looking for? What's your guide roll on this gun, and what do you want me to like take a look at next time? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I do stream right here on the YouTube channel. If you ever want to check that out, all you got to do is turn on notifications. And if you want to hit that join button, get that big D. It's very, It feels very nice to have a big D. You should click the join button and get one. But until then, until next time, I'm Death from Above, and I'll see you later. See you, bye. Bye. There's heavy down here. I'm going to take it. Ha! <laughs> it's hitting him. Line him up, baby. It's so fast. I like this gun. It's gonna be that's gonna be a good like pair it with something for PvP and it's a get out of jail free card. I like it. I'm dead though. Chat. Where's my, where's my heavy metal guitar? That guy's using that fusion, man. Look at him. Subsistence is good now on SMGs or everything? Oh, subsistence doesn't pull from your, uh, your reserves anymore, does it? I forgot I had that. Hey, you got Ethan. 75. Deathbringer Catalyst. Welcome to my inventory. Thank you. Let's stay vigilant. Why did I get decrypted data? What's that? A lot of stuff here, chat. I like that.